Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. First, like the brother said, you were yeah, right now, literally, you are wearing your underwear out in the streets. And your excuse was, it's hot. Well, I was in the world once. I go to the clubs. I went to the clubs in the world. And you know what I saw in the in dead of winter? <laughs> Mini skirt. Hold the top, belly button out. Right. So it's not cold. So when it's cold, you dress like this. When it's hot, you dress like this. And your excuse for dressing like this because it's hot. Uh, you understand you know what I'm saying? What happened? In slavery, our women wore dresses. Have you ever seen a slavery movie where the slave woman was wearing pum pum shorts in the, in the cotton field? It was long, flowy dress. Right. Just because you wore a dress doesn't mean you're going to be hot. Right. I bet you, I t if you, so you can understand heat, I take you, as you dress right now, drop you in the Mojave Desert. Let's see how long you last. Why well, you dress like this because it's hot? <laughs> you, you follow what I'm saying? Create and create nation. Right. So he gonna see that. Your mom, let me holler at you real quick. Yeah. Bum 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 ta da 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 it changed numbers. Same night, club, boom, 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 after the club, hotel, boom, boom, banging, bum bum. Next thing you know, you wake up, you pregnant nine months later, nigga don't wanna take care of the baby. You have two choice. You become a single mother or you abort the baby. So you dressing like this turn you into a killer now. And then the cycle continues. You follow? No. Read that and then give me Hebrew 13. So the cycle continue because what? You never change. The cycle continue because he doesn't try to change because everybody's giving it out out there. If the milk is free, why buy the cow? Right. You understand? If the cow knows its value, guess what? Somebody gonna pay for that damn cow. Right. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 21. Yeah, I had planted a noble vine. God planted us a noble vine because we are the cream of the crop, we are the salt of the earth. A noble vine, right? Holy a right seed. How they are now turning to the degenerate plant of a strange vine. Of How seed. did we get to become a degenerated people? Because we are not a righteous people. A man don't stand strong. You understand? A woman saw the said pouring out there. You understand? That's why they call you guys what? Female dog. We're not gonna say the word, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you say, ain't no good women out there. She say, ain't no good men out there. Right. But you live in whoredom, she's living in whoredom. Right. So how they are they ever going to be good yeah. people? Right. So for that to change, we have to come back to knowing who we are. Once you know who you are, then you can live according to your ways. Because yeah, right. Right. right now we're living according to the heathenistic ways. Right. Right. Where do what thou wilt is the whole of the Lord. Right. Wake right. up in the morning, you feel like burning a spliff, you burn it. You understand? While bumping your favorite track. Percocet, Mally Percocet. You know what I'm saying? You represent, representing what? That you a junkie? That's your favorite song, that you a junkie? Pizza. My milkshake bring all the boys to the yard, that you a hoe? That, that's what you representing? Right. Why would you want all the boys to come to your yard? Right, bring it out. Right. Fertilizing you with a whole bunch of unholy seed. Right. Then you got a whole bunch of babies you don't care about that you're gonna raise? 
hating them because you hate the daddy, and guess what they're gonna become? Little ruffians running the streets. Gun toting niggas robbing everybody. But you know what? Hey, you don't care because guess what? Billy gives you that nice house you always wanted. Right. Billy give you that man. Matter of fact, now you don't need a man. You can go out and whore all you want. Here's what's gonna happen. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Bring it up. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable. All our sisters should be married because it's an honorable thing. Right. Read. And the bed undefiled. Like you do with your husband, not boyfriend, your husband, what you do in your bedroom, that's your business. As long as he's not on his fours. And then you behind him with something that don't go. Bring it out. But whoremongers. But who? Whoremongers. Whoremonger. What is a whoremonger? A person that's going from a person to person. A woman could be a whoremonger too. So that's why it's a person that's going from person to person. Uh-huh, women or women. Uh-huh. You understand? Read. And adulterers. Adulterers, those are people that's breaking red locks. Read. God will judge. God will judge you. Once you live in a promiscuous life, a life full of fornication, God is going to judge you. That's right. That's how you got herpes, gonorrhea, syphilis, crabs, uh, all kind of sexually transmitted disease. And that's how you got abortions. You understand? God judge you. Now you're a killer. You're destroying your body. You're destroying your people. But you think you actually care. That law in itself would change many things. But we don't know who we are. We have been discontinued from our heritage. So we got stuck into doing what the system set up for us to do. Fail. You understand what I'm saying? Every custom that we follow is what? Of the man. Like I show, I'm gonna show you something. Show me your bracelets. What's this? This one. Come back. Huh? A colorful bracelet. Too bad you don't know what it is. So this bracelet is a witchcraft bracelet. What? Take that off. See, she said she didn't even want to hear the scripture yet. She's taking it off. Hold on. No, I'll play that. You, uh, you can wear a bracelet, but that's a witchcraft bracelet. Thank you. Oh, this is the Eye of Protection. This is a Middle Eastern uh, bracelet. Thank you. We're gonna read the scripture dealing with witchcraft, Thank you. and then I'm gonna answer your question. Read the Book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 18. Bring it up. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies. So, molten image, which goes into witchcraft, worshiping statues or whatever, emblem, um, the star of Moloch, the all-seeing eye of protection, all those things are teachers of lies. Because right. that right there, somebody, today, let's say you didn't talk to me, right? Uh-huh. But you talk to somebody that understood it. Right. Guess what? That person could have fed your head with all the garbage that comes with that bracelet and then you end up in it. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. can that bracelet protect you? No. Hell to the no. So we did not say she could not wear a bracelet. Ain't nothing wrong with wearing jewelry. But when you start putting like a cross on your neck, like every rap star has, that's idolatry. Right. right. You understand? The cross was a symbol for what? Capital punishment. That's what it was. Nowhere in the Bible is going to say put a cross on your chain. So when you say you want to serve the Lord, you got to come back to his law, statutes, and commandments. Give me uh, John 14 and 15. You guys had a question? Okay. Uh, before we do that, give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11. I'm going to test your spirit real quick. We're going to see. I'm not even going to tell you nothing. I'm just going to read the scripture. I'm going to see what you're going to do. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. Bring it out. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Read. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Keep the laws as I deliver them to you. Don't change the laws. The way I said it, just do it. Read. But I would have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. So Christ is the head. And the head of the woman is the man. So Christ is over you, you over the woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. God is over Christ. So the order is God, Christ, man, women, and children. Read. Every man praying. So any man that's praying. Read. Or prophesying. Or prophesying or in the midst of prophecy. Having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. What that mean? 
Why? Dishonor who? Dishonor Christ, because Christ is your head. So if you say you love Christ, you want to honor Christ, the hat got to come off. So, all yeah. praise So, a woman's supposed to have their head covered. You follow? But we understand you don't have a, a wrap to, ha to, to cover your head, but just keep that in mind. If you're praying or prophesying, your head should be covered. Are you with me? So, go back to uh, what I wanted before. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Yeah. You love, do you guys love Christ? You grew up in white church? Yeah. Huh? What church I grew up in? No, but what kind of church? Is it Baptist? Huh? Catholic church? Baptist? Down south, huh? <laughs> my aunt is a pastor. Oh damn! Yeah, we, we, we got a message. We got a message for your aunt. Okay, so do not leave until remind me if I forget. Remind yeah. me to give you the message for your aunt yeah. before you guys leave. Okay. Read that. If ye love me, keep my commandments. You hear what Christ said? If you love Christ, keep His commandments. That was fourteen, fifteen. Give me fifteen, fourteen. If you love Christ, keep His commandments. Are you keeping His commandments? Are you keeping His commandments? Everybody try, no, right? No, I'm not going to lie. No. See? <laughs> Gotta be honest. They're not going to lie, but guess what? But we're going to teach you. Yeah, because exactly. many commandments y'all don't even know. Read. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 14. Uh -huh. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever, I command you. So you are Christ's friend if you do, first John and 2. If you do whatsoever, he commands you. Had, had ever in the Bible that you read that Christ command you to sin? So he never command no man to sin. He never give you a license to sin. So when you choose to sin, that means what? You're going up your own accord. That means what? You don't love Christ. We can say we love, but our action got to match that love. Because that's your mom? So now, can you say you love your mom and make her cry every day? That's not love. So love is not just a word. Action got to follow to show that you actually love her. That's right. You follow? So it's the same way when you say you love Christ, then guess what? There's a lifestyle you got to live right. to show that love. Right. Otherwise, he ain't listening to you. Right. Before you read that, give me John 9, 31. I'm going to show you why we are in the Baptist church, in the Catholic church, in all the Christian churches. You go right up the block. There's tons of churches. But the neighborhood is still jacked up. Our people are still jacked up. So you gotta ask yourself why? Why there's so many churches and our people are still jacked up? Right. This is the reason. The Thank book you. of John, chapter nine, in verse thirty-one. We now we know that God here is not sinner. Uh oh. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth His will, him he heareth. God does not hear sinners. He only hears people who do His will. So there's two questions in that verse. What is sin and what is God's will? Because after you read a verse like this, God don't hear sinner. So you need to know what sin is so you can tell whether or not you are a sinner and he's not hearing you and he only he hear people that do his will. So you need to find out what is his will to know, am I doing God's will? You follow? So what is sin? Transgression of the law. You say it, let's read it. The book of 1 John. Chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is to transgress God's laws. One of the laws we read was Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pretend unto men. Another law we read was a woman must dress modestly. So off the top, we show you two laws. Already broken. And Deuteronomy 22 and 5 said, if you break that law, God look at you as an abomination. I'm gonna put it in layman terms, like a pile of dude. Yeah. Would you would you hold and touch? Sure. Yeah. So God, is, that's how God is looking at you. So you got a choice to make, because we can't dilute it for you. We're gonna tell you how it is. It's you now that's gonna choose whether or not I wanna be seen in the eyes of God that way. Right? So that's sin. Let's see. Let's read what is the will of God. John, uh, Psalm 40 and 8. Let's see what is the will. What is the will of God? Because y'all been studying, but you don't know that one. You know what sin is, but you don't know the. He knows the the the, the, the <laughs> He know the sickness. You don't know the medicine. We're gonna give you the medicine. Read the book of Psalms, chapter forty, verse eight. Uh -huh. yeah. I delight to do thy will. So 
David said, I, I find great pleasure in doing your will. Read. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Hey, thy law is within my heart. So what is God's will? Doing his laws. That's right. When you do God's laws, then he finds delight in you. He likes you just like you find delight in doing his law, then he's with you. That's why he said, you my friend, if you keep the commandments. You understand? Give me First John 2 now. So, as much as we go to church and every day, praying and everything, God is not hearing us. This is why we're still in the condition that we're in. Because we refuse to turn to God the proper way. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.